Hello, boys and girls. So for today, I have these super fun make your own kite kits. Now, your kit might not look exactly like this one. Yours might have wavy lines. Uh, it just so happened that that one that I grabbed was polka dots. So, what do you get in your kit? You get your kite, and then you get this set right here. And let's open this up together. So, inside this little baggie, you are going to find the instruction sheet. This little piece right there, and that's important, set it aside. These three streamers right here, and this long piece of string. Now, what are you going to do? Well, first, let's put the instructions off to the side for a little bit. So first, what you're going to do is, the probably the most fun part is color your kite. So, I have these three colors right here, and as always, I have purple because if you've been watching these videos, you know that purple is my favorite color. Um, and I'm going to take red, and I'm gonna do the really big circles with red because why not? This can be whatever you want it to be. It can be whatever color you want it to be. Maybe you don't like the pattern, you can always use the back and make your own pattern. But I like the polka dots, so I'm going to work with the polka dots. And then I'm going to make the little circles green. And these are just regular washable markers. If you don't have these, that's fine. This works with crayons too. So you can just color this however you like. This works with matte pencils, this works with pens. Maybe you don't want to color it. Maybe you just want to build the kite, and that's okay too. This is whatever you want it to be, and you make it yours. So, I did red and I did green, and then I'm going to do the body of the kite. Purple. Oh, that's a pretty color purple. Well, they're all pretty color purples, right? So, after you color your whole kite, what you're going to do is flip this over. You are going to take your kite string, or your tail string, because this is the tail of the kite. You are going to put it on your kite like so, and then this is actually, this little piece of foam, is a sticker. So you're going to take the backing off the sticker, and I like things somewhat neat. You don't have to do it this way. I'm going to put it vertically, but if it's, easy, if it's easier for you, Put it horizontal, that works too. All right, and that's how I'm gonna attach my kite string. Now, if you notice in the instructions, we also got these extra pieces and they use these to make little bows on our kite. So, I'm going to take my little bow and this is just like tying your shoelaces and if you can't tie your shoelaces, that's okay too. You can have a parent or a guardian or a sibling help you with this part, but you make a little knot, you make a rabbit ear, you make another rabbit ear, and then he goes under, over, through, and pull it tight. And then you can sort of fix your little bow. Or, You can just, if it's easier for you, or if you know a better way, there's plenty of other ways to do this. So you make your little bunny ears and you just put them together like so. And there is my little bow. So you do all three of these, your purple, your blue, and your yellow, and maybe you combine your kite colors to match these colors. I don't know, it's yours. Maybe you don't even use these. Maybe you have pretty yarn sitting around that you wanna use, or pretty paper that you wanna use. Make this your own. Now, saying that, let me show you one that I have already done. And that one is right here. 
this is my beautiful kite that I went ahead and already did. And you see it's purple with red polka dots and green polka dots. And it's got its pretty little bows. Now, can this fly? Maybe. Why not test it out? What you can do or what your parent or guardian or sibling can help you is take two very thin wooden dowels, or if you can't find wooden dowels, you can go outside and get two very thin, very strong twigs. Make sure they're perfectly straight. If they have bark on them, take the bark off because that adds weight. And then you are going to attach them at each of these corners and then at each of these corners. And what you want is for this to have a slight bow in this direction, like that, when you attach it so your your dowel or your stick is going to be just a little bit shorter on this end. And then you have your cross piece on that end and you can tie a string to it. Now if it's super, super windy, this might be able to get up in the air. And if not, it's okay. You can hang it from your ceiling or you can put it on your wall or you can do whatever you would like with it because this is yours. So I hope everybody has fun with this. I hope to see some super great, super fun designs and I hope you make it your own. Everybody have a good one and I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye boys and girls.